Hello and welcome back. The previous video was about a successful submission of EI to the ACE portal. This part focuses more on troubleshooting. Um, today is April 7th and as of today there are still issues that we at Magaya C could cause some problems. The Weblink integration is a new project for the ACE portal still under development by the engineers at US Customs and it admittedly still has some issues. Uh, Magaya will keep updating the solution as Customs updates theirs and communicating any future enhancements to you as well, of course. So the first thing that we've noticed is that sometimes, it, it happens very rarely, but sometimes when you log on because your session has expired or maybe it's the first uh, filing of the day, so when you have to enter your username and password here and click the login button, what you want to happen is a new EEI filing with data populating from Magaya. That's exactly what happened now. So our login was successful and we are ready to file this um, EI. But every now and then, very rarely, you actually end up on a different page for some reason. Um, it's most commonly the page that lists all your previously filed EEIs. And should that happen, just close the tab and proceed to file again. Your login was already successful so you will then definitely end up on this page which is where you want to be. Okay, so this was the first issue that we've noticed. The second one can be a little bit more common and this is actually not a technical issue but uh, just how the system, how the ACE system has been designed as of now. So I'm going to submit this filing it'll be successful and as we've already covered before there is this critical part of user clicking to clicking on this button back to trade website okay so I will now accidentally not click there I will maybe be a new employee that forgot or just accidentally close somewhere else so now my EEI was filed successfully I'll close this and I'll be back in Magaya on my shipment. However, there is going to be no result because we did not click back to trade website in the ACE portal. We did get, we even got the confirmation email that EI was filed successfully. Here it is. What I would recommend in this case is to file the shipment again. It will count as an amendment but that will be okay because uh, ACE does not require any data to actually be different. So I'm just going to go to this shipment that I know actually was already filed and successfully got the ITN number and I'm just going to send this again. Click Submit and click Back to Trade Website. Again that click Back to Trade Website was the action that sent the confirmation back to Megaya. So now, if I try to pull the results, they are going to be there. Alternatively, if you do not want to file again, you could check this box manually. If the results screen turns out blank, you could check this box manually and copy-paste the ITN number from your email into this field. This will ensure your ITN shows up on shipment documents, even though technically Magaya did not get a confirmation back from ACE. Okay, so this was a demonstration of what we recommend if you accidentally don't click the button that says back to trade website, which is unfortunately a mandatory part of the workflow now. So finally, we're going to look at what happens if there are errors, errors that um, pass through our validation but will cause validation issues here in the ACE environment. In this case the message will say rejected by AES due to an error. Here we come to face the problem that if I want the results to be sent to Magaya I'd have to click back to trade website. I would then fix the errors and send the filing again from Magaya. However, if I don't know what the errors were, which is likely, I'd want to click correct errors. This will take me back to the filing. 
and I see nice red highlights across the tabs as well where the errors were. Now you might feel tempted to fix them manually right here and then manually in Magaya, but this will cause a problem. Let me demonstrate. I'll fix the issue. File again. And we'll see that for some reason the back to trade website button does not exist on the success message after an initial rejection and correcting of the errors. Why is this an issue? Remember, clicking that button was the only way to push data back to Magaya. So now we are guaranteed to not get the ITN sent to Magaya, even though we successfully filed the EI. Um, I have reported this issue to US Customs, and they've confirmed that this is the way the system is designed, and again, taken the feedback into consideration for potential future enhancements with no guarantees. But unfortunately, there's nothing we at Megaya can do to change this as of now. We will keep updating the system um, should customs update theirs. So I will have to click close here and I will not have results in my Magaya system. So the workaround here is the same as in the previous case where we accidentally didn't click back to trade website. Fix the errors in Magaya and file again. It will count as an amendment but will be successfully filed. I'll show that with my next shipment here that had the same error. So I will try to submit. I will get the error. I will click correct errors to see what the error was. And I'll notice, okay, my Schedule D code passed the validation for some reason, but it looks like I used the airport code instead of a vessel. Great, got it. So I'll close this and I'll go back to Magaya and I'll fix my Schedule D here and file again. And now it will pass the validation. And I will also ensure that my data is consistent in the A system and in Magaya. I'll click back to trade website and my results will be available in my Magaya system. So these were the issues that we have noticed so far. We will of course keep you updated should there be any improvement and our tech support will be ready to guide you through the questions as well. Thank you very much.